Figures released by the World Health Organization show that 80% of city dwellers are breathing badly polluted air. And this will only get worse as society becomes more urbanized. Italy is one of the most polluted countries in Europe. In 2012, it had the most pollution-related deaths on the continent, with over 90,000 people in the country dying prematurely, owing to bad air quality. Like most European cities, Milan is highly polluted. I've come here to meet a team of engineers who've created a product that could revolutionize unhealthy urban environments. Milan, a glamorous city famous for design and fashion, has long been working on ways to combat its air pollution, with architects looking towards buildings for solutions. Amazingly, this incredible work of architecture is cleaning the pollution in the surrounding air as I speak. Enrico Borgarello is the innovation director for the company that designed this building, the Palazzo Italia. This is amazing. Yes. What a beautiful building. It combines the two situations of Milan. One uh, being uh, innovative also in the environment and also very good in the aesthetics. And we are very proud uh, to be able to contribute to this. Can we touch it? I swear I wash my hands. <laughs> so you, you can see this is a quite it's really a very smooth. smooth surface. Yeah. We have inside uh, of this uh, concrete this um, material that uh, allows the sunlight to reduce pollution. The building is made up of cement that includes an active ingredient or catalyst called titanium dioxide. When UV rays hit the cement, they react with this catalyst to break down pollutants like nitrogen dioxide in the air. The toxic chemicals are turned into harmless products, such as nitrates, which are later washed off the building by rain and absorbed in the ground. So this really is a living building that's constantly interacting with this environment. Yes, exactly. When you have uh, pollutants, they are uh, transformed into harmless products. What kind of pollution or, are we talking uh, about? NOx, uh, nitrogen oxide, sulfur oxide, carbon uh, dioxide, what they come from combustion. Usually. So that's cars, cars industry. heating, industry. These are the major pollutants that can be destroyed by this. What kind of impact are we talking about? I mean, how much pollution is being sucked from the air as we speak? Yes, this is uh, 9,000 square meter of this concrete, active concrete. This can uh, clean the air of uh, the equivalent exhaust gas from 100 diesel car or almost 300 from uh, gasoline cars. So I think it's a significant impact. And this is the impact of just one building. One person who would greatly benefit from a city made of the cement is resident Lara Torniamente. Lara, ciao. Ciao. How are you? Nice. She suffers from severe asthma due to the heavily polluted air here, which is now affecting her mobility. So, Lara, you are a true Milanese woman. You've lived here your entire life? Sì, io ho vissuto sempre qui in Italia, Milano. When did you first start to notice that the pollution in this city was really affecting your health? Un 15 anni fa ho cominciato a avere problemi di respirazione, di asma, di bronchiti. Quando vado a a passeggio al mare lungo il mare respiro bene. Come torno a Milano sento tutte queste belle puzze, diciamo così, cattivi odori. Are you starting to hear of more and more cases like yourself? Sì, nelle persone soprattutto anziane della mia età direi di sì. It's not just the elderly who are affected. Studies have shown a direct correlation between air pollution and asthma in children. And across northern Italy, air pollution shortens the life of citizens by an average of 14 months. Ai miei nipoti che poveretti se se non cambiano città moriranno presto. Globally, many more people now die early from pollution-related diseases than from malaria and HIV combined. Massimo Borsa is head of the innovation lab at Ital Cementi, the company who makes the air cleaning cement. Hello, I'm Guillory. I'm Massimo. Nice, nice to, to meet see you. Welcome you. to the lab. Thank you so much. Do I get to wear a lab coat? Yeah. <laughs> that is working with the cement. Amazing, hello. Hello. Hi. Okay. Here we go. Stop, 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 no stop. We are now preparing the material to fill this panel and uh, uh, flow the material inside this panel. Okay, let's see it happen. 
Ital Cimenti are constantly experimenting with new ideas and consistencies. Oh, nice and slow. But experimentation doesn't always go to plan. Can you get more Yes. Oh. Yeah, that's... Where's the mop? I can help clean it up. Um, that's what happened when a camera, camera yeah, yeah, when the... <laughs> So no offense or anything, but I think this is a good time to be putting the lab coat on. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. You're OK? Look at this. Okay. Nice job. Okay. Oh, there we go. Look. Look, look, look. He's coming. So this wool that you're using, what is it made of? Plastic? Yeah, it's a plastic because our material has to be smooth. And the cement is able to read the smoothness of the plastics and to replicate it. Why does it need to be so smooth? For two reasons. First one, for the aesthetic reasons. The second one, because smoothness surface can reduce the uh, piece of pollutants that remain attached to the surface. And they can easily washed out by the rain. So if it was porous, they would find little nooks and crannies to hide in. But with a smooth surface, when it rains, it just easily washes off. Exactly, you're right. OK. Producing cement accounts for 5% of the world's carbon dioxide emissions. This photocatalytic cement may produce the same emissions while being made, but it reduces pollutants within a three meter radius by more than 20%. It's small gains like this that can really make a difference. I believe that this material can contribute to resolve the problems of the pollution. For sure, it's not only this material, but yes, it can contribute. I want to find out what proof the team has that this cement actually does clean the atmosphere. This is a plastic of a city. This part of the town is uh, has been coated with the photocatalytic cement. This is, represents the sun, and so when the, the light will turn on, the sun will activate the photocatalytic activity. And we also inlet the pollutant by this way, inside this part of the sphere. Let's check it out. Yeah, please. You can check that this number are the number of the pollutants in the atmosphere. This is monitoring the gas. Yes, yes. The level without the photocatalytic reaction is uh, 105,098. Now, because the reaction started, the pollutant decreased. As it's the UV rays that cause the reaction, even on a cloudy day, this cement is still reducing pollution. Look how much it's gone down. 40%. 40% it's gone down in 10 minutes. We are going to uh, get the 50% of reduction in pollution. But consider if that if you cover 15% of a town with this photocatalytic cement, you can reduce the 50% of the pollutant of the city. Ital Cimenti may have come up with an innovative product, but it is expensive. One paving company has devised a cheaper, more practical application for it. Massimo Sanini has collaborated with Ital Cimenti and devoted an entire factory to this special cement. This is the pavement, the impiant, this one, in which we produce the pavement photocatalytic. È molto rumoroso. Okay. Just a thin layer of the photocatalytic material is added to the surface of each tile. Now you with No, you come with me <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I see pavement. You show me. Okay. You Sounds show. great. Massimo has invited me to visit a health center where his bricks are paving the new car park. Personalmente ho investito nella produzione del pavimento fotocatalitico mettendo i migliori impianti e tecnologie perché io personalmente ho tre figli e ho pensato a questo prodotto non solo per i miei ma per tutti i figli del mondo. Constructing photocatalytic paving this close to traffic, the prime source of city pollution, ensures its effectiveness. So here they are. Are all of these photocatalytic? Questo qui è pavimento, sì, fotocatalitico, che viene utilizzato in questa clinica. Questo pavimento viene posato a secco su sabbia. Lascia il drenaggio naturale dell'acqua. Can we help? Sì. OK. Qua si vede il secondo impasto. Ed è l'impasto in cui viene introdotto il rende la pavimentazione fotocatalitica. Va bene qua così, quello lì in mezzo. This is exactly like Tetris. I'm so glad I invested all those hours as a child playing that video game. <laughs> Got it. 
these are, you know, the, the sidewalks and the roads that we walk and drive on all through our lives, and this could have a massive impact on human health. Sì, c'è il primo motivo far conoscere al mondo che esiste questa tecnologia. Dico, dove vive l'uomo dovrebbe essere utilizzato questo pavimento perché rende l'ambiente migliore, più pulito e c'è tutti i vantaggi anche a favore dell'ambiente e dell'uomo. Milan isn't the only city using this technology. From the new Air France headquarters at Charles de Gaulle Airport to paving in Chicago, the application of this cement is on the rise. With innovations like this applied widely enough, our urban environments could become a lot healthier.